everybody. It's Sarah, one of your student ambassadors. I'm back in business. I have been without a camera for quite some time. RIP. I wanted to talk to you guys about clinical. And maybe you've had a lot of clinicals before, or maybe this is your first clinical. Whatever the case may be, there are some important things you should know about preparing for clinical. Totally necessary. Seniors, get on this. Also, a great, great tool. Med calculations, you definitely got to know these things, guys. It's a great book. It really got me through the first couple years of nursing school. You're looking for this. It's one of the most important things that you have to know when going into the clinical setting. Um, how to do a basic head-to-toe assessment. It's very necessary. Um, I feel like, even though I've been doing clinical for a couple years, that I, I can't get enough practice doing head-to-toe assessments. So, we will refer to this book. What are the parameters for normal vital signs in adults. Um, it's different in pediatric nursing, but that's a whole other can of worms. So in adults, um, a normal temperature is what? 98.6. Correct. Good job. And then you want to check the pulse. A normal pulse for adults at resting is between 60 and 100 beats per minute. A pulse lower than 60 is called bradycardia, and a pulse higher than 100 is called tachycardia. And in cardiac floors, you're going to experience a lot of these. The next is your respirations. Respirations in adults, according to this book, is between 10 and 20 breaths per minute. So for blood pressure, um, below 120 systolic and below 80 diastolic is considered normal in this book. And what's the, uh, they say the final vital sign is pain level. So when you're ever you're getting vital signs, ask the client what their pain level is, what the nature of their pain is, and where their pain is. Okay, now on to assessment. I'm going to reel in my friend Marge from next door. So, always one thing that you want to do with your patient is introduce yourself. Hello Marge, my name's Sarah. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi Dr. Sarah. Nurse Sarah! Nurse. <laughs> anyway, when you're doing a head toe assessment on the patient, you're going to start, you know, your assessment starts as soon as you walk into the room. Is this person alert? Is she oriented? I wonder. Is she neurologically competent? Some patients require neuro checks. Um, if you, I sometimes do a quick neuro check on all patients. Um, some patients you have to do a complete neuro check. Look at the light. Uh, follow the light. Come back. Follow up, down, the side. The side, up, down, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Looks pretty good to me. Let's just check those pupils. So what you do is you take it and you come into the side and see if they react to the light. They're so fast! <laughs> she has Perla. Pupils equal, round, reactive, to light. I forget what A is. Accommodating! Accommodating. There you go. So now, um, the next part of our neuro <clears throat> assessment is we're going to test the strength to make sure that they're, you know, have enough equal strength. So let's see. Go, yeah, okay, let's see this. Oh, yeah. it's wrong. Next, we're going to test heart and lungs. Listen to the heart. What a great heartbeat, Marge. Thank you. <laughs> now we're going to test the breathing. Just normal breath. Take a deep breath for me. Heart sounds great, lung sounds are clear. Smooth sailing. Smooth sailing. Okay, now I'm gonna check your pulses to make sure that they're equal. Alright, let me let me try it. Pedal pulses are really important, guys, because if you can tell if the patient's getting um, sufficient circulation in their feet, make sure there's no edema. Um, edema is the fluid, and a lot of times the fluid is around the ankles and the feet. She has no edema. And she has pulses. Looks like she's in good shape. Next I'm going to check your belly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So turn around on the bed. No. <laughs> okay. What I'm going to do first is listen to make sure she has bowel sounds. See how the bowels are moving. <laughs> sounds great. They say that you're supposed to wait like 
sometimes five minutes to listen if you don't hear anything, because it can take that long. But that's kind of unrealistic in most circumstances. And then you have to test to make sure they're not sensitive in any places. You always listen before you touch. Any sensitivity there? You're good. Yeah, to make sure that they're, you know, they're going normally. Um, that there's nothing unusual going on with their kidneys. And um, pretty much it for a quick head-to-toe assessment, that was just a quick one. It's not detailed. Uh, that's pretty much what all there is to it. Skin. It's warm and dry, so that's good. Anything else you want to tell me about, my dear? Nope. All right, the doctor will be in to see you soon. Great. Keep in mind, um, when doing an assessment, that was a quick head-to-toe assessment. When you're doing assessments, you might need to focus your assessment um, on a certain part of the body because the patient may have a certain problem. Maybe they have abdominal pain. Um, say the patient just had a traumatic brain injury. Also, keep in mind your A, B, C's. Airway, breathing, circulation, these are very important things to keep in mind when assessing the patient. You're checking to make sure, you know, what is their cap refill? No? Less than three seconds? Mine is. Mine sure is. Mine's like one second. If you have any questions or you want to share some experiences with me at clinical, about your clinical day, uh, definitely do that. I would love to hear from you guys. Good luck at clinical, guys. I'll talk to you all soon.